indigenous peoples have been living in this part. In the boreal forests of northern Saskatchewan, archaeologists believe this river bend is covered in clues about its earliest residents, indigenous people arriving after the Ice Age some 10,000 years ago. Now researchers from the University of Calgary and the University of Saskatchewan are gathering samples of soil, seeds and pollen to learn how they lived. Yeah, so we can get a sense of how they changed their relationship with the landscape over thousands of years. Those clues include these dark lines or paleosols, ancient soils preserved under sediment. There's also markings with charcoal, signs of a possible hearth. This is a piece of flake or debitage that's left over from stone tool making. This local historian found dozens of cultural objects here, including a bison bone tool estimated to be more than 9,200 years old. He brought the site to the attention of the archaeologists. I would really like to nail down um, the oldest point of occupation. The researchers are working closely with nearby First Nations and Métis communities to combine their findings with traditional cultural knowledge. When we say we lived at the buffalo thousands and thousands of years, well, this site will prove that. Willie Ermine, an elder from Sturgeon Lake First Nation, came to lead a pipe ceremony before the start of the search. He says he hopes to learn more about how his ancestors lived. Crossing Asohunan is the Cree word for this area, and it was a crossing for the buffalo to the south is the Great Prairie. The researchers tell us this site is one of the oldest and best preserved on the western prairies. Along with another nearby site, it's the earliest evidence we have of post-glacial human occupation in this part of Saskatchewan. They hope it will reveal exactly when people began living here more than 9,000 years ago. Alexander Silberman, CBC News, near Prince Albert, Saskatchewan.